Alrighty guys, welcome back to a video on this channel. It's your boy JSGST. Uh, we're back with the video, not just a clip this time. We're doing a real video, and this time you guys asked for me to do a football video, so we're here ranking the best Premier League team logos. If this is the kind of content you guys want to see, please make sure to leave a like so I know this is the content you guys are liking. If not, drop a comment, tell me what you guys want to see next. But today we are ranking the best logos in the Premier League. We have top, pleasant, mid, I'd rather not, and in the bin. All right, guys, so one of the first logos we have going on today is Newcastle United. So for Newcastle, there's a lot. It's a cool logo, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot going on in a little amount of space. Uh, there's a bright blue color at the bottom, which I like. The shield in the middle is cool, but I think we're going to have to chuck it in the mid category. I think, I think I'm comfortable doing that. Now guys, this is not how I view the team. I'll be doing another tier list on that coming out soon, but this is just the logo's sake. Now for the next logo we're going over, we got Burnley. Uh, the yellow crest and the outline is cool. The yellow in the design, black and yellow colors with light blue is actually very cool, I think. I, I view this as a pretty good logo, so we're gonna, we're gonna chuck Burnley and Pleasant. All right, next we got Crystal Palace. Uh, Cool. It has blue like logo design and it has a big bird on the top of it, which I think is cool on top of Palace. That's also pretty sick. So we're gonna we're gonna chuck Crystal Palace and Pleasant. I think that's a good spot for it. All right, next we're going with Leicester City. Uh, it's pretty cool. It has a little animal in the mid logo wrapped around it. Uh, but I think it's just pretty mid, if I'm being honest. So yeah, we're gonna give it a mid. Give we go back. Chelsea is the next logo. I really like the Chelsea logo. But let me explain why. So obviously it has a blue circle wrapped around it, red dots, yellow lettering, yellow emblem, cert lying around the emblem. Really like it. I think it's a really cool logo. No, I'm not a Chelsea fan. I'm gonna put that out there. Not every team is gonna be up there. Someone has to take the fall. Sorry, Everton. I hate to break it to you. Uh, the reason for that, just blue and white. Kind of a bland logo, just a little castle thing. Not for me, but it's okay. It's in the bin. It's gone now. Next, we're moving on to Sheffield United. Now, this one I think is actually kind of cool. Two swords, black and red and white. Uh, I think it's pretty decent. I'm going to chuck this one in the pleasant category. Next, moving on to Ashton Villa. Uh, I think it's all right. There's a giant yellow lion. Uh, but I'm going to chuck it in. I'd rather not. Just because it doesn't go along with the other logos, like the colors and the the shapes of like more of a circle or a crest. It's more of a big lion with those stuff. I don't know. Next, we're moving on to Man United and Man City. This is probably going to be the biggest debate between logos in between fan bases but we are going to hmm this is a tough one you know all right with more consideration we are actually going to move Burnley down to mid and then we're going to place Man City up excuse me Man United up to Pleasant and we're going to put Man City in mid, yes, this is going to piss a lot of people off, but Manchester United, it just, it pops out more, it's red. Uh, red and yellow, it pops out more in my eye. Man City is more of a white, blue tone. Uh, a lot of the logos in the Premier League really are blue and white, so. See, look how similar these two look standing next to each other, and you're telling me that something special. Yeah, I know I put Chelsea up at the top for being blue and white, but bite me. Next, we have Tottenham and Spurs. Um, we're gonna chuck Tottenham in, I'd rather not. You can see there's a bit of an alignment here for my choices. I feel like the logos with more of a crest or a circle are more better, in my opinion. Uh, this one's just the name and a logo on top of it instead of being like a crest logo. Uh, yeah, I'd just rather not, I guess. I'm gonna chuck Brighton 
and I'd rather not as well. Uh, it's just a bird, blue and white. Once again, this is why I'm telling you guys, blue and white's not as original right now. Blue and white, just a bird in the middle in the circle. So, I'm gonna leave that there for now. Next, we're gonna chuck Southampton and Pleasant. You can see it has black and yellow lettering at the bottom. It has a football with a halo over the top of it, scarf at the bottom, top, and a tree in the middle. Pretty good overall. Now West Ham here, um, just give me a moment. All right, perfect. All right, moving on to Fulham here. Um, gonna put Fulham in mid it's just a mid logo I guess it's just red lettering with a black and white crest just kind of mid I guess not really more, much more to talk about there next we have wolves we're going to chuck wolves in top tier category uh, it's a really clean logo black wolf in the middle with yellow and then black around it I think one of these slickest logos in the all of the prim next we have arsenal we're going to put arsenal in pleasant category uh really cool has a cannon red arsenal name bluish brown crest around it really clean logo in my opinion and last but not least what did you expect for west brom we're chucking it directly to the bin that is my final tier list if you guys enjoyed this please make sure to leave a like down below comment what tier list you guys want me to do next i will be trying to get out more gaming videos and of course i will always have the clip videos out for you guys but yeah that's for a bit peace in a bit